If you install an 80 meter diameter wind turbine at the top of a 70 meter steel pole, you can harness high altitude winds to drive the turbine, generating continuous electricity. Ancient texts note that wind strength increases with altitude, allowing larger turbines to produce more energy. However, a tall pole cannot withstand strong lateral winds. Cleverly, you replace the pole with a 200 meter concrete building and carve a shallow, through hole at the top. You then connect a steel pedestrian bridge across the hole to secure a wind turbine, utilizing high altitude airflow for power generation. To capture more clean energy, you expand the hole upward and add more turbines at different heights. However, variable high altitude wind directions make it hard to ensure a consistent frontal wind force. So, you rotate the building 37 degrees toward the leeward side, design the building in a blade-like shape. This creates a large three-dimensional wind patch device that channels winds from various directions into stronger turbine driving airflow. Yet, turbines at different heights face uneven wind forces, risking damage or structural failure at higher levels. To address this, you tilt the two towers upward, reducing the wind catching area of the building's sides as height increases, balancing the wind load across turbines. Thus, you create a self-powered building, taking a small step toward protecting the planet. Congratulations, you've designed the Bahrain World Trade Center.